and they are off. Basic Hero jumped well, as did Rally with Class, and from between horses there goes Wild Zambezi. Up on that one's outside, the predictor flashing speed from fourth and spun out uh, in the five path there in Passable Canyon's fifth as they charge to the first turn with just outside six furlongs to go. Gateway Arch is racing away in sixth, about seventh off those leaders, then two to Money Talker and Red Hot Warrior at eight to five is last in 12 lengths. Off the pace as they head up the backside, just outside the five furlong marker now. The first quarter, they're going pretty quick. And in fact, the first quarter, 23 and four. So Wild Zambezi being pressed to the outside by the predictor. Meanwhile, long shot rally with classes to the inside from third. As Impassable Canyon races in fourth, just got passed by Gateway Arch, who's making a big early move there after a half and 47 and two. Basic Hero's been shuffled about back into the six. Now on the move, here comes Money Talker, and the Chicken and Silk starts to click him off from the back of the pack, and Red Hot Warriors last, but he's closing in. He's only about seven or eight off the lead as the complexion changes with five sixteenths to go. The predictor's still there. Gateway Arch with an early bid. Impassable Canyon saves all the ground as the predictor floats well out wide, and now Red Hot Warrior, the favorite, is full of war on the gray. He's going to angle off heels. He's going to go to the four path, but he's closing in at the top of the lane. Many chances as Gateway Arch takes over to lead. Impassable Canyon still boxing on. Now Red Hot Warrior has clear sailing, but Red Hot Warrior has three leagues to get Gateway Arch by the 16th pole, but he's getting to him with each and every stride. But Gateway Arch still finding. Red Hot Warrior trying to get past Gateway Arch, drifting out, and Gateway Arch wins a half a length. Red Hot Warrior was second. The predictor third, and Impassable Canyon 